spirit spiral is what you're going to consider a popular plant in traditional medicine around the world common names include hogweed pigweed spreading hogweed and other names a french arabic chinese names on the screen for your consumption vernacular names include babajuji in nigeria that is hausa you have apostle paul in ghana that is fi and then india we have palnava of which we are going to use throughout scientific names include bohavia diffusa bohavia erecta there are others too all parts of the plants are very useful for medicinal purposes this presentation covers the pharmacological and traditional uses of the plant kindly watch to the end to get all the details of this useful plant it is important to state that pranava as a plant rejuvenates the body It cleanses the body with its unique property of flushing out toxins from the body and nourishes the body for proper nutrient absorption. This information is for education purposes only. Kindly subscribe, like and ring the bell to get notification of new videos. Let us now look at the pharmacological uses of panava as proven by scientific research. In simple terms, pharmacological uses is about the use of panava in the production of drugs used or prescribed by health professionals. Number one is antibacterial and very high antiviral activity. The leaf extract of panava were found to have an impact on human pathogenic bacteria such as E. coli, S. aureus, and P. aeruginosa. The root extract of panava were found to have a broad spectrum and very high antiviral activity. But two is anti-stress or adaptogenic in nature. In stressful conditions, Pornava has demonstrated the ability to prevent the suppression of the immune system. Number three is anti-diabetic or hypoglycemic activity. Daily oral administration of aqueous solution of Pornava leaf extract for four weeks had significant decrease in blood glucose and significant increase in plasma insulin levels. Panava is an antioxidant. There are a lot of antioxidants that are main damages caused by excessive generation of free radicals, that is, oxidative stress. Free radicals are a major cause of various diseases like diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular diseases. It is also anti inflammatory in nature. The ethanol extract of leaves exhibited anti-inflammatory properties. Number six, Panava contains photochemicals that lowers cholesterol. Panava contains tannin and saponin which reduce cholesterol levels and thus lowers the metabolic burden of the liver. The aqueous root extract showed hepatoprotective activity against toxic effects generated by carbon tetrachloride in the liver. It has also been found to have antifibrolytic as well as antiproliferative and anticarcinogenic potency. We are now going to look at the traditional herbal benefits and how to use the plant for those purposes. It is important to state that most of the traditional herbal uses presented here are supported by scientific research as already presented. Number one is remedy for kidney problems. Traditionally, root or tender shoot or whole plant decoction should be taken twice daily for one month. 
for respiratory infections, infusion of the whole plant or juice root should also be taken twice daily. For healing wounds, take a decoction of the leaves and apply the a paste of the leaves directly to the wound. For rheumatism, panava should be boiled together with rice, garlic, water and you rub it on the body. You also take a decoction. It's a remedy for male and female reproductive health problems. This includes fertility issues, sexually transmitted diseases such as gonorrhea in both men and women, sexual weakness in males, urinary tract infections, vaginal disorders such as yeast infections and others. For this, you take the plant powder twice a day for one month or a decoction of the whole plant two times a day. Seven is blood detoxification. That is, join this. Whole plant infusion should be taken orally on an empty stomach. All raw leaves or the juice should be taken orally twice a day. A decoction too can be taken two times a day for the same purpose. For skin disorders, the leaf paste or powder is applied to the skin, mostly mixed with mustard oil. It treats eye diseases. For this, fresh root juice of panava is put into the eye so as to get relief from various eye ailments like night madness and others. It also serves as a natural aphrodisiac or cure for impotence. Take a decoction of the whole plant twice a day. Leaven it treats boils. Grind the leaves up to form paste and apply it on the boil. In addition, drink a decoction of the whole plant to detoxify your blood. Taking a decoction of all powdered leaves is also good for the following conditions. Abdominal pain, anemia, asthma, ulcer, stomach ulcer, cough, fever, guinea worms, convulsions, weight loss, and other benefits. Note that only infusion of panava should be taken on an empty stomach. Decoction should be taken after meals. Boil plant for a maximum of 5 minutes. Generally, panava is not recommended for children below 12 years. Thank you for watching. Enjoy panava to have more benefit than what is presented here. Kindly subscribe to the channel. Thank you.